worked at perfection and in Ireland, the national sport is hurling. Donald O'Cusack plays at the highest level and he's gay. Somehow, Donald O'Cusack produces a miracle stop. Donald O'Cusack had to get down, show magnificent athleticism and keep out that shot from Owen. You know, first, first day when you, you, you tell your dad um, and your mother, you know, they're bound to be a bit surprised. And, uh, you know, in my father's case, he, he was surprised, but... You know, he's tough and he's a, a man of the world and, you know, he's been nothing but very good to me ever since. And, uh, you know, I think in a funny sort of way, my man always suspected it, but she's no different. She's, she's, she's been very good to me also. Well, I suppose I've grown up with a, a group of players who've maybe played together since we've been very young and have been very successful. So, really, a lot of my best friends would be within that group. And then, again, you're obviously maybe not sure how they're going to react to it, but every one of them to a man reacted very well. And, uh, you know, like I said, I think that my friendship has gotten even stronger with them since. You know, from my experience, it's, it's definitely something that hasn't, you know, hindered my relationship with other players, teammates, family. I'd encourage people to talk to people who are close to them and talk to their family and friends and to, as much as possible, try to be themselves. But, you know, I'm saying that whilst understanding that everybody has their own way of doing their things and, you know, everybody has their own ideas as how to best deal with certain situations. And, you know, for one minute, I wouldn't be coming out calling for people in other sports to come out as being gay or, you know, and likewise with my own sport. Everybody has their own uh, road to travel, if you like. What would your message be, rather than advice, what would your message be to the people like that who are constantly calling somebody gay or, you know, having a go at them because of yeah, well, they think they are gay or that, or yeah. whatever reason? My view on that has always been, you know, that people need to think twice about it, you know, because if you are abusing someone because of their creed or colour or sexuality, then unfortunately it's, it's, it's more of a reflection on yourself than it is on those people. And, um, you know, just think twice about it because... Even stuff like, you know, where maybe gays use as a term of being bad or something that's not good, you know, that can do a lot of harm to, to certain people who are maybe not able to take that abuse and just think twice about it and maybe, you know, think that if you had a brother or a sister in that same situation, would you like to, uh, to hear stuff like that being said? I, I'm sure you wouldn't. There's lots of other people that are in the same situations. There's a lot of sports stars out there who are gay. A lot of politicians out there who are gay and a lot of people in general society who are gay and, you know, don't be a bit ashamed of, of who you are and, you know, be proud of who you are and, you know, the day that you'll come out and, you know, and tell people who you are, I'm sure it's a day that'll, if you like, liberate you and it'll, you know, make you a much happier person.